going on, fellow Autobots and Decepticons? Welcome back to Rollout Nation, and uh, today we have a huge speculation shocker to you guys. I have something that I speculated, and I have proof for you that Cogman, yes, that's right, the Ashton Martian, is a KSI drone. We're going to discuss that all in this video today. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, they have been filming in London now. They're still filming there right now. And not a whole lot of news this week. I mean, this is just typical for Transformers last night. They've been, uh, you know, there's a whole week filled of news, and there's a whole week filled with no no news for the movie. So that we're on the week of no news. But um, during this no week silence, I did some speculation of a video that came out. I forget the YouTuber's name, but he did a video of where he was on set for Transformers last night in London, and they actually uh, took footage of the vehicles. He took footage of Barricade, Bumblebee. A uh, hot rod and the Ashton Martian. Now, he also took a little bit of footage of the McLaren, but mostly it was of Hot Rod and Bumblebee and a little bit of the Ashton Martian. Now, I'm gonna give you guys my speculations on Cogman and just give you my thoughts on the character itself and who I think this might be and what Cogman could possibly be for this movie and why he's a KSI drone. So the first thing is that I want to tell you right up in front. I think that I might be the first person to say this, but Cogman, in my opinion, is a terrible name. I, I'm sorry. I just can't get around the name Cogman. It just sounds bad for me. I just don't like the name Cogman, especially if it's an Autobot character. It just doesn't sound right. I think that it should have been a different name. I think that it could have been, like, worked out a little bit better, in my opinion, but I don't know. I just don't like that name. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that I like the vehicle that they chose. I like that they chose an Ashton Martian because it's not a high-res vehicle, but it's also like one of those slim, nice looking vehicles, which I do pr appreciate a lot. So I did like that a lot as well. Now, with that out of the way, let's get down to the speculation of why I know that this is a KSI drone. So there was a video, as I mentioned, where this person was in London and he took a lot of footage of the vehicles itself. But he took one particular shot in, in particular that you guys need to see. So I'm going to put the video in my, in my description box and I want you guys to go watch this video. And go to the moment of where it's when it the video is at four minutes and forty one seconds. When it gets to that, uh, you know, four minutes and forty one seconds, stop the video right there because the Ashton Martian um, is backing up, and you get to see the bumper. It's like a yellow bumper behind, under it, and behind it, you get to see a bunch of numbers, but the, there's three letters as well, and the three letters spell out KSI. So that confirms that the Ashton Martian is in fact a KSI drone. Now I don't know about the McLaren if it's a KSI drone and uh, I just want to state right now that I know that I screwed up. I know that I said a Mercedes in my last video. Um, terribly sorry about that folks. I meant to say a McLaren. I just wasn't aware of what vehicle that was. I just thought it was a Mercedes but it's a McLaren. So my apologies on that one. But that if you go to that section, go go check the video out right now. Go when the video gets to four minutes and forty one seconds. Stop the video right there. Look at the bumper of the Ashton Martian. It has the first the first letters of the bumper is KSI. So there you have it. It's a KSI drone. Now when I say KSI drone, I do not mean that this is a Decepticon at all. I think that with the new KSI, you know elements into Transformers last night. I feel like Stanley Tucci is going to go from making from making their own Transformers to replace, you know, like the Autobot characters and everybody. I think that he's going to make the robots now to assist the Autobot characters. And I think that this character is going to be like their new addition to the team as well, you know, with Hot Rod and Squeaks. Now, this is also my speculation on my part. This is two pieces of speculation that I have with the character Cogman. One is that maybe this is like Stanley Tucci's guardian because you know how like Shia LaBeouf his guardian was obviously Bumblebee and uh, Mark Wahlberg's guardian I guess is technically Optimus Prime but um, like you know what I mean there's there, like a guardian type of character and I think that Cogman is going to play that role because Bumblebee is now going to be like a sec second in command of the Autobots so I think his guardian post is no longer his you know like his his domain. I think that Cogman is going to take that place. And who better, what better character to use as a human character to, you know, 
guard, <laughs> that would be Stanley Tucci. So, and uh, the other thing that I have is that I think I know where they got the inspiration of Cogman from. Now, I could be totally wrong about this, folks. I could be totally wrong. This is just me stretching on where they could have gotten this inspiration from. And that is from the Japanese Transformers series called Master Force, and particularly the character God Bomber. Now, before I say anything further, I did a video a long time ago on my main channel when it was just all about Transformers. I talked about God Bomber being in Transformers 5. Go check out that video. I'll leave a description. I'll leave it in my like cards. And please go check it out because I did a video a long time ago about God Bomber being in this movie. And I'm telling you right now, I think that Cogman clearly got some inspiration from God Bomber. Now, if you look at the design of God Bomber, it looks completely different from this character. But I'm going to say it. I think that they got inspiration from God Bomber, particularly like the, the concept. Because if this is a KSI drone, which I just proved to you that it is, then, you know, it's a human-made transformer but it's meant to assist the Autobot characters. Just like in Master Force, the humans built God Bomber, not only to be like, you know, a jetpack for, for Jinyai, but also to assist and, uh, uh, you know, add more forces to the Autobot team. So, so there you guys have it. Check out the video once again. Four minutes and 41 seconds. When, you, when, you, when the video hits four minutes and 41 seconds, stop the video right there. Look at the bumper. It says KSI. Those are the first three letters that you see on that bumper. And you guys tell me, what do you guys think about Cogman being a KSI drone? And do you think that Cogman could possibly be uh, Stanley Tucci's guardian? And do you think that Cogman possibly got its inspiration from God Bomber from Transformers Super God Master Force? So you guys let me know. And that is pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this video will be posted on Saturday, so I'm recording it now, which is Friday. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're Roll Up Nation, and we always roll out. See you next time.